Today, the Marshall community gathered together all for a son of Marshall, Reggie Oliver, the quarterback who led the herd to their first win after the tragic plane crash, was injured in a fall in his home and is in critical condition. Now Marshall is praying for their former play caller. 13 News reporter Adrian Robbins has more from Huntington. We hope he scores another touchdown. Please pray without ceasing. Everybody, he's a good man. The man who brought life back to Marshall football, now fighting for his own. He's in a struggle. I mean, there's no question, but Reggie's a tough guy. I mean, Reggie led the thundering herd to, to a, a big victory over Xavier. He's been through tough times, and he's faced a lot of adversity in his life. And if anybody can overcome this tragic accident, Reggie Oliver can do it. Reggie Oliver has done so much for Marshall University. When they heard he was in for the fight of his life, they wanted to be there with a candle and a prayer. We all got our heads together, and a lot of people said, let's just all come together on the campus at the fountain, the Mor memorial fountain that means so much to Marshall alums and Marshall supporters, and let's say a few words and get Reggie's friends here and have a little candlelight ceremony and say some prayers and send our thoughts to Reggie and his family. Over 100 candles were lit Friday night. Among them, Doc Holliday and the Thundering Herd. He touched a lot of hearts. You know, he's always coming back. He's always giving. He actually spoke at the ceremony here this spring. So, he, you know, he's just a, not only a tremendous player, but a tremendous person always wanting to give back. Everyone praying for the young Thundering Herd quarterback to win one more fight. From the first day you're here to the day you die, you're a son of Marshall. Reporting in Huntington, I'm Adrian Robbins, 13 News, working for you.